Cambodian Fine Dining is only the second Chicago area restaurant shining a light on authentic Cambodian cuisine. Here in our Studio 41 kitchen with a look at a few traditional menu items is executive chef Mona Sang. Thank you so much for coming Hi, in. Hi, how are you? And congratulations. <laughs> I understand that we are now Michelin, uh, James Beard yeah. nominated. Yes. That, that is fabulous. Finalist. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate that. The aromas smell yeah. incredible right now. I thank wish you. there was smell of vision. Um, you tell us, like, what made, have you always been, you know, in the restaurant biz, or did you always want to open a um, Cambodian restaurant? I worked for Lettuce Entertainment for a few okay. years before the pandemic started. My mom, she does a little bit of catering for our church. Okay. Um, bo both her and I are survivors of the Khmer oh, Rouge genocide wow, that wow. happened in the uh, early 70s, late Incredible. 80s. Um, so we fought our way here to America. Um, my mom, basically everything she that I'm showing you guys here is like what she cooked. She used to sell it on the, our neighbors, our church, to be able to send us to school, buy groceries and things that we used to eat when we were in Cambodia. So, you know, kind of pass on the tradition so cool. a little bit. Yeah, because I know you, you guys had a, a rough go, especially when you got here to the States, yeah. and it was a, a yeah. big culture shock. A little bit, a yeah. little bit. But I got into cooking about a year before the pandemic happened. My brother passed away. Oh. My mom kind of just shut down a little bit, and the only way to bring her back was to start cooking. So I remember all the so things oh she used goodness. to yeah. teach me. And then um, I started cooking, and then one day she snapped out of it, and then we've been cooking with each other ever since. And then uh, last year we decided to launch a restaurant, and then now we have a restaurant oh together. And we're All right. still cooking together. That is amazing. I love mm -hmm. that she's still in her kitchen. Tell yeah. us a little bit about what you are making. Uh, so this is one of the first dish that my mom taught me how okay. to cook. Okay. This is kapahokti, so it is ground pork simmer in a coconut mm. curry broth, uh, mm. top of roasted peanut, crispy garlic, and it also has bahok. So we're the only country in Southeast Asia that uses bahok, oh. which is uh, basically uh, a fish that's been buried underground for about six months to okay. a year. Oh. And you have to know how to use it. If you don't, it tastes bad, it okay. smells bad. Okay. But my mom had shown me some of the techniques, so definitely I want so you guys to try it. It's yes. buried, buried, so it kind of ferments. It's a little for a bit while. like fish, yes, yes. fish sauce, maybe a little bit. Oh, like, or like, like a fish cream okay. kind of. Okay. okay. So only Cambodians are the people, the only people that knows ah. how to like treat it and know how to put it in some of the dishes, so it doesn't overwhelm. Wow. Yeah. Truly a Cambodian great. technique. Correct. Okay. Correct. All right. Correct. Yes. So then this is uh, called sako ang, which is beef skewers, with lemongrass, galang garlic and shallots um, so it has a lot of our very Southeast Asia flavor this is tre amok which I'll, in Cambodia they use like white fish but I use salmon because it grabs a lot of that Ooh, flavor yum. so yeah. this one has also lemongrass galanga and we make our own curry paste in house mm -hmm. so we don't buy it at the store wow. um, yeah. so we simmer that in a coconut also curry broth and you can serve that with top of like crispy garlic mm -hmm. um, so I will if someone's never had guys. Cambodian food before um, is it should they be prepared for like spicy dishes yes, or so a range a, of dishes? A range of like different flavors. So okay. you're not tasting spicy, salty, bitterness, but you're tasting everything all at once. Okay. We work with a lot of funky flavors. I so love that. we have a lot of funky dips. <laughs> okay. So this is actually one of our very mild funky dip that we okay. have. Okay. Perfect. Uh, but I did bring bahok, which is the very, very fermented fish. Okay. That's very funky. Beautiful. So when you go to the restaurant, we give you the different layers mm -hmm. of the oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is probably okay. like the eighth one. So okay, if you've okay. never had anything funky, I would say stay mm. away from that and okay. try this. I'm gonna try that. But if you oh, love funky, this. funky, I'm funky. That's the way you to go. You are funky. No, no, it's like funky. it's gonna in hit you in the way. face. Mm. Okay. It's gonna be like, wow, what is this flavor? Spicy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm. A lot of umami, spicy, spicy, funkiness. Tangy. Oh yes. Yes, mm, okay, spicy let's, too. Let me try that. Yeah. Yeah. Really, what, really, how do you usually serve this? I so like. we basically serve that with a different type of all uh, uh, vegetables. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So this is. I'm we'll gonna go in for this. Guy. Probably go ahead and mm -hmm. add a Damn little nice. bit of in there. This Ooh, is how good. we would serve it in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. okay, and you good. could have cabbage, uh, mm. cucumbers, oh, radish. Man. You I just sort of it. just dip it however you like. I love that. The perfect yeah. amount of spice. Mm. That fish is. 
insanely good. Now, That's a Thrayan book. Yeah. Is, are there a number of Cambodian people living in the Chicago land area? Why are there only you mm -hmm. own the second restaurant? Um, so I'll, during the war, a lot of us got killed. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, a lot of us never made it to. There was a genocide. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. A lot of us never made it to the United States. So we're sort of like spread out mm. everywhere. Got it. Uh, there's a little. It's not a big population here in Chicago, but there is a huge one in. Oh. Um, California. Oh, okay. We're so happy that you're Thank here you. and you. uh, sharing your wonderful yeah, story. This is, this is so an good. American dream yeah. story. It is. You know? It is. We're yes. trying to bring the community together and kind of share our culture and our story with everyone. Love it. Kind of mm. bring everyone together. Amy are in. Amy and I are in love with yes, the flavors. I love it's it. Incredible. Thank, Thank you. you so much to Chef Mona. Sure. There's yeah. all the information. Everybody, go check it out. It's been. Um, Making all yeah, sorts of rave uh, reviews. Yeah, the James absolutely. Beard Award nominated. Yes. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you, you so guys much. so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much.